on a desert island. Oh, the sun is shining. The coconuts are coconutting. The birds are birding. What it'd be like to be stuck on one. What's going on guys? Hey Big Glitch 79 here and you're watching Iowa Retro Gamer Dad. Limited electricity, limited video games, limited, limited games. And I'm not talking about the limited run games, I'm talking about three games on this desert island. No online play. No more than three. Yes, that's right, three games. One, two, trace. Chill Scissors has asked a question to the fellow YouTube community, which I will pass along afterwards. I will not nominate people. I will not hold people down, because we do not do that here on YouTube. We might, but I don't. I raise people up, and so I will raise the stakes, and I don't know, man. I am sitting here looking through the collection of games, thinking, what could I do on this island? to survive. So I've been casually laying here thinking to myself what games would I play? And honestly a lot of them came to mind right away. Um, there's a few that ob were obvious choices which are an almost endless amounts of opportunity, fun, and what can they have it. So I'm gonna start off by one of Chill Scissors choices himself. I have a mint copy of Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition promo disc which was given away with some of the game cubes I believe um, now this copy has the original Legend of Zelda Zelda 2 the Adventures of Link on NES both of these were NES games and stuff like that so it has these copies it also has Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask so that is I don't know he put it on there and I would almost wonder too if that is cheating um, I wouldn't think that's cheating because it has them all on one disc, I do believe. Yeah, so technically they're all on one disc, so I'm going to say that. Um, I was looking through that and thinking later on, would I... I didn't want to go with compilation games then, because I was like, well, then I could just, you know... That way I will not count cheating, because he did not count it cheating, and he was the one that issued the challenge. But what I was thinking was cheating was then I'm just like, well, I'm just going to get a bunch of compilation games. You know, Sonic made you collect mega collection and stuff like that but the only problem with those is I would get tired of those two pass don't get me wrong I like Sonic and everything like that but I cannot sit there and play Sonic over and over again it is just too monotonous same old same old running from left to right so what this finally came down to and I would pick any three of these um, I actually do not have a physical copy of one of these right now I digitally own it on my Xbox 360 and my Xbox one but these three titles, um, either one, you know, any one of these I would be fine with. So obviously Skyrim was another choice of mats. So Skyrim, I also have a copy of Oblivion, Game of the Year edition, which has Shivering Isles, Knights of the Round, not our Knights of the Nine, sorry. Um, that would be, I mean, any one of these Elder Scroll games. I also have the Game of the Year edition for Morrowind, um, which I, growing up, I put so much hours. So any of the Elder Scroll games, I would be happy with out of these three. Um, I know that if I had to come down to choosing one of them, it would be my Game of the Year edition Skyrim, probably, because that is actually my favorite out of all of them. It would have to be. It's run of the money. I, I would probably choose Skyrim out of all. Otherwise, second choice would be uh, Morrowind Game of the Year and then Oblivion. Now, don't get me wrong, Oblivion is a good game. And they're all just bare, li literally that far apart from each other. But if it had to come down to it, Skyrim would be my choice. Now, lastly, I have a stuck in a conundrum with this one, too. Um, there was three of these games as well that I would be happy with choosing all of them. But... If it comes down to it, this would have to be my choice. Now, I do not... Um, once again, I own the digital copy on, I think, 360. If 
But I also had the PC version, which I got in a big, uh, a big collection one time at Goodwill for two bucks. But we have Fallout 3, um, Game of the Year Edition. Um, another great game, wandering the Capital Wasteland, um, so much stuff to do, whether it be just wandering around, um, doing quests, doing side quests, doing the main story, hunting mutants, um, hunting super mutants, hunting all the mutated animals. Um, there's so much to do in this game, especially in the Game of the Year edition. Now, a lot of cool... I have the whole collection over here of, um, you know, Ball 1, 2, Tactics, New Vegas, and 4. Um, if it came down to it, it would probably be between 3 and New Vegas, because I love those two games much, but it would have to be Fallout 3 if I had to choose. Um, it was... Like I said, the, the either, you know, Skyrim and Fallout 3 were the easiest choice. Now, the third one... Which I had to go with this one because it was 4 and 1. Plus I love the Zelda games. Um, a runner... God, I can't even really come up with a runner-up choice. A runner-up choice would have to be... Uh, maybe like a Final Fantasy game. Or uh, preferably 7 or 10. Because you could still dub a whole bunch of hours into that. So those are my choices, Chill Scissors. And like I said, I issue this challenge up to uh, anybody else that is willing and wanting to do this. Um, just pick three games you can't play online that you could um, that would help you get through being stuck on this deserted item, whether it be for like he said, three weeks, three months, three years. We will say one. We will say three years. So if that was. Something you can do with that. Um, I like this chill laying down. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Sorry, getting a little goopy now. It's uh, about 3 in the morning. So thank you for watching. Um, as always, you know, be thanks for being you. Thanks for watching. Um, comment below what your choices would be if you do not want to make a video or if you don't happen to have a YouTube channel and you just watch. Um, let me know your choices below. Uh, please like. Um, the video if you do like it if you don't like it feel free to hit the thumbs down guys thank you for watching stay retro my friends and have yourself a great great day or night